Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you a really simple tutorial. A couple of people have asked me this in the past and it's taken me quite a while to get around to doing it, but this is a really simple um, idea and it's about making falling platforms. So if you were going to make a platform again where you jump across um, platforms across your game and at a certain amount of time those platforms actually fall down so you can't just keep on running back and forth on them so it makes the game more difficult so anyway first of all what I've got is I've just got two blocks at either side so you know you can jump across so you start at one and these platforms are going to fall down so initially what you need to do to make something actually fall down eventually is that you need to add a rigid body to it and that will apply a basic amount of physics so we can apply gravity to pull it down to where the ground level is here now one of the key things when you import a rigid body all you need to do is go component physics and then attach a rigid body now you want to make sure that use gravity is not ticked because if we had it ticked obviously with gravity gravity pulls you down so it would pull the object down so as long as you've got your rigid body on it and you don't have um, user gravity ticked then we're alright and then you can start with this so what we'll do is we'll start by writing a javascript file and we'll call this falling platform and what you want to do open up in mono develop and when you've done that we'll get rid of the two um, starting functions and then we'll say variable platform as type game object with a semicolon then we'll say we'll do something new and we're using function on con controller collider hit open brackets hit colon controller collider hit and we'll close that up then we'll add two curly brackets below there and we'll say if hit dot game object with a lowercase g dot tag is equal to open brackets and then we'll say platform which is its um, actual name and you'll need to name that in unity and then we'll add two curly brackets below there and say yield wait for seconds and then we'll put in brackets maybe two seconds with the semicolon then we'll say platform which is our variable up at the top here which is a platform game object dot rigid body dot use gravity equals true so what we're initially doing is all we're doing is we're going to set the variable in the inspector and we were saying that if we're using a first person controller we want to make sure that when the character controller collider which isn't actually a rigid body it's a, um, a way that the scripts written by the people who made the unity engine and then if we've landed on a tag which is called platform then we'll wait two seconds and then apply gravity to that platform so it'll fall down and once we go back into unity what we'll do is we'll add um, this to our first person controller so the first person controller um, has it attached then what we can do is add p1 in the inspector and then we can actually run the game and if we jump across as we would normally jump across to the other after those two seconds the collider fell down and as ever if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers